The most important situation in pickleball is right after the serve because we're most likely to win the point when we transition to that kitchen line right after the serve. All right, welcome back to Pickleball Journey. Today we are talking about getting into the net by hitting third shot drops and fifth shot drops. My name is Elisha. I'm Justin. Let's get into it. All right, so at, right after we hit our serve here, we're getting ready to hit our third shot. Now, naturally, when I hit my serve, I'm moving my body into the court a little. The first thing I wanna do is take a step back. That ball could come right at the baseline if they hit a great return. So I wanna make sure I'm behind the line, ready to hit a drop from here. Second thing I wanna do is I want to be aware of who's returning. And typically, you wanna hit back to that person because that person is moving into the, into the net, into the kitchen, and it's gonna be harder for them to take it out of the air than their partner that's standing right there. Now, the third thing that I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I don't miss in the net. So if you miss in the net, you leave yourself no chance, no opportunity to win the point at all. Now, give yourself a little bit margin for error. You wanna hit this ball a little bit higher and what we're doing here is we're giving ourselves a chance. You, see, you might hit a great shot there, but if you do hit it too high, then you're getting ready for that fifth shot drop. And if you, if you hit that one too high, it might be a seventh shot. The fourth one, the next one here is we want to make sure that we're following. So I talked about hitting cross court or to the person returning. Make sure your paddle is actually following towards your target. So you're, you're pushing out towards where you're aiming and you're wanting to keep the ball on your paddle as long as possible. And I know that sounds weird because it's just a, a split millisecond, but really feel the ball on your paddle for as long as you can. And then finally, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we're moving into the kitchen. We're transitioning in slowly. So as we hit our drop here, I'm gonna hit a drop. I hit that drop and I'm coming in and I'm getting ready, I'm split stepping. Hopefully I'll have been in a little bit closer than where I'm at here, but you're not sprinting in, you're taking nice, uh, easy steps in, and then you're getting ready for that next shot. So I've hit my serve, I've hit my drop, okay? So now I'm transitioning into this zone between the kitchen line and the baseline, okay? Coming in, and we're making sure that when we're in preparation for that next ball, we slow down or stop completely before they've hit the ball. Now, number one, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna decide once they've hit that ball if I'm gonna take the ball out of the air or I'm gonna let it bounce. This is an important decision because if I decide I'm gonna take it out of the air, I'm gonna have a good stance, good low stance, get my paddle out in front, okay? I'm gonna be moving my arm slightly forward with an open paddle face and a very relaxed wrist so that I can nice and easily get that drop out of the air back towards their feet so I can transition to the kitchen line. However, if I decide that I wanna take the ball off the bounce, okay, I'm gonna make sure that I pivot whatever side that the ball is coming to and I'm gonna have my paddle back and I'm actually going to have the face a little bit more neutral, okay? Or even pointing down because the ball is generally popping up at me off the ground, especially in that situation. So I need to get it back down at their feet after that. Once I've created that third, the fifth ball actually, the fifth ball drop, eye of the air off the bounce, now I can transition a little bit closer into that kitchen line and now I'm on equal terms with my opponents and I'm gonna have a great opportunity to win a point versus just going side out without any points. Let's pause real quick because we know everyone's playing a ton of pickleball and wearing through their shoes way too fast. If you do need shoes, be sure to check out Frameth. There's a 10% discount in the description. 